High Court observed Sham Kumar's continuation as Minister illegal. Disqualification case sent back to Speaker. Efforts on to avail people of state labor low benefits, says Chief Minister Ain Birain. Laborers stage protests against bent on sand and stone querying. Hello dear, very good evening. You're watching ISTV English News at 8. This is Lanchami Gome. Now let's start with the top story. Manipur High Court has disposed of petitions for disqualification filed by Congress MLAs Muhammad Fazur Rahim and K. Megachandra upon Minister for Mahut Town Planning, Forest and Environment and Horticulture and Soil Conservation, MLA of 7 Andro Assembly Constituency, Thaunauzam Sham Kumar. The fate of Sham Kumar, whether he will be qualified for the post of MLA or not, depends on the decision of the presiding officer of the tribunal, Speaker of Manipur, Legislative Assembly, Y. K. M. Chan, formed under the 10th schedule of the Constitution of India. According to the order of single justice bench of Manipur High Court, Justice K. H. Nobin said, the Manipur High Court has observed T. H. Shyam Kumar's continuation as minister is absolutely illegal. The failure on the part of the Speaker to take a decision on the petition for disqualification within a reasonable time has led to the continuations of the illegality which is likely to continue further probably till the end of the term of the Assembly. The Speaker is expected to follow the mandate of the 10th scheduled. If he keeps on postponing his decision on such petition, the object sought to be achieved in the 10th scheduled will stand defeated and the Constitution of India may be rendered a mere paper mandate. The alternative issue appears to have not been directly involved in the cases pending before the Supreme Court which are brought to the notice of the court. The decision of the Speaker can be corrected by judicial review by the High Court under Article 226. So prima facie should indecision by the Speaker be correctable so as not to frustrate the purpose of 10 scheduled. Addressing the gathering at GM Holt on the 64th Foundation Day of Bharatiya Mazur Sangh, Chief Minister Ain Birain stated that efforts are on to avail people of state labor low benefits. Chief Minister Ain Birain further said, Bharatiya Mazur Sangh is not only a large trade union in India but exists all over the Asian countries. The union was formed for the labor section. As for Manipur, wrongdoings in every system in the past have become a trouble with persisting court cases to take up any development work. However, he appealed to all to take up any work with transparency. Union Cabinet on Occupational Safety, Health and Working Condition Bill 2019 passed on the number of and the Manipur District Department of Labor and the Employment Department, Manipur Buildings Construction Worker Welfare Board, in fact, now, semi senior, but how long they are fighting. Projects are under one center, one thousand centers are under the way. 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 Journal Organizing Secretary, Notice of BMS, Sunil Kirwal, President of BMS Manipur State, M. Kapisui and BMS Notice in Charge, N. Tomba, were the main guests on the occasion. Sit-in protests were staged at Moirang Purel and to Mukong, demanding withdrawal of Manipur High Court's ban on sand and stone querying from river. The protesters demanded alternative livelihood for the laborers. The sit-in organized by Moirang Purel Area Truck Driver Association along with a discussion was held at Nongpok Ningtho Ima Pantoi Bisang Lane and discussed on the hardship of the people and different measures to be taken up. A public procession started from Tumukong and passes through different areas of Moirang Purel along with the students.
The protesters carried banners written, We condemn Manipur High Court's bent on sand and stone querying from river, save sand workers' life, save Taubal River, Taubal River is life for the people, etc. NG Ratan Kumar said High Court's order has created immense hardship to the labourers. In a place where 80% of the people depend on sand and stone querying, no alternative means of livelihood has been provided. He appealed to the government to withdraw the High Court's order and to provide alternative source of living for the labourers. Environment kai hai bagi namada, masi thamai basi ay yazaning de, masi ki udara si ribok to biu hai dona ay han mukta da ay thamzake. Environment kai hai lagadi dam sabau zhi koi ki Supreme Court na zui yade, Indian Forest ek na zui yade, si environment na sabau kai bani. Rule ne ayad ayad yadale riba, IT person hai na nung lengo ay surga saar riba, ma yamsi na masa masu, mima na bangam na bangam si, kadang thagat na laila su tambanga mai basi. Masi, hujung nung lengan itu pasti tinggi banget tanda. Eko je, si mafok dam area ini nanti na, semai oiro, serong oiro, high bill line nung lengan itu terbang mafam mafam jigi, luaran area ini dah, asal buat ekonomi ini, impian kami kerja di bawah. Sapu umka, environment kaya na kaya na, eko hingga bidang tu dam sari bas semai na, nung lengan itu environment so bas eko ini am hingga bidang tu, orang level Manipur High Court kisah na, order si ribok tau wina ba, ini luaran area dah lebih ribai eko thabuk suri ba, eko ini am kita mesti laga ini high jadi. A student, Thaza Konthuzam, said her mother supports them by querying sand and stone. However, due to the ban, they are compelled to discontinue their education and condition of the family is miserable. Baba, like it, eh? Imana, nung nimoy sujuna is now maribu takbi, mahi masing tamali. Nung nimoy putok pasi, tinki bidugi ako yam na ware. Asumi makata na, sa tarak labidi, ako is now marib, mahi masing tamali. Tok pa da nata na, sarah hila ni. Aku ibu nan bio, mahi masing tamu pangan bio. Lahir baku kita mak tak kalah gak. Nunu ibu tok pasi, atau ibu tak melak tok biaya nasi kerang yang mereka dengan pil tau zari. Chief Minister N B Rain sees of Hajj pilgrims at Imphal Airport today. At least 459 pilgrims from the state are visiting Mecca for this year, organized by Manipur State Hajj Committee. The Chief Minister extended best wishes to the pilgrims for their safe return to Manipur after the trip. The pilgrims are sure to pray for peace and harmony to prevent in the state. They also extend gratitude to the Chief Minister for his sincere and best wishes to the pilgrims. Vigilance and anti-corruption police arrested IAS officer D. Palme on charges of misappropriate of government funds. He was arrested yesterday afternoon around 1.30 p.m. near State Academy of Training at Takyalpat. He has been servicing as Director General of State Academy of Training. He was arrested on charges of misappropriating over rupees 99 lakh government fund on account of constructions of Tribal Boys Hostel at Kabolekai. He was produced before special judge in West yesterday and has been remanded in police custody. Volunteers of AMSU along with JEC and local residents of Tangwiban today start sit-in protests against the suspicious that of the students of Standard Robert Higher Secondary School, Baby Sana, at a school boarding demanding immediate arrests of the murderers. The protest was held over half of the road blocking traffic in front of the DM College gate. A large number of policemen were deployed to control the protesters. The protesters shouted slogans against the killing of the student, Baby Sana, We want justice, punish the culprits, etc. President of AMSU, Peter Lystrom, told media person that the state government must identify the killers of Baby Sana, arrest and punish them immediately. AMSU, along with people, will continue the agitations until those involved in the incident are booked, Peter said. Hari bawa si bal si bal khusi si di, aku ini lakukan dengan kehat penisa. Si M Suna hari mana tolong saya, kerajaan kita saya tegi, amadi otoriti saya tegi. Kerana kita hari tabasan baru mereka ngasih tegi orang kerajaan M Suna Z C amadi lebak mian amne tolong bukti orang kerajaan support orang kerajaan hari misi si bu hari bawa cerita ni bawa mian amsinu dan D P bawa aduh ini pandang dan M Suna ngasih cangsel ni bawa kongsi saya. Si tegi aku ini sering protes amadi lambi timbal kongsi bawa aku ngasih dia hawa ni. Si tegi makah tabah makah makah kongsi mian amne aku siem sahden lagi. M Suna ngasih aku ini thamzani ni dia aku ini boarding amabu. Amat di hostel orang tu minus selai gani rules and regulation. Eka mau makada, lagi tapi mau orang tu tahun ini tahun ini berkuasa dia tahun ini berkuasa dia macam si M Suna akan mau orang tu kadem tahun ini aduh na paling banyak orang suruh regulation. Eka mau siapa mau boarding kau macam selai ni hostel kau macam selai ni apa? Si atau mau tempat dah tahu orang tu kadem ni aku ini hari mau misi esda siapa mau amat di misi esda buka lalu hari bilang langgan jadi betul tu bawa M Suna akan mau orang tu kongsi kongsi lakukan apa? Media itu orang tu thamzari. 
Meanwhile, a JC form against the death of Baby Sana has called 24-hour Manipurban from 6 a.m. of July 24 till 6 a.m. of July 25. Convener of the JC, T.H. Chitaranjan, in a press release stated that medical, religious functions and emergency service will be exempted from the purview of the Bund. He called upon Mayra Paibi, CSOs and students' organization to extend support until the truth behind the death is known. MLA K. H. Joykisan expressed dissatisfaction over the government for not being able to produce any clue behind the death of Baby Sana even after completions of one week. Speaking to the media persons at the community hall at Kuyatong, Pukri, Achaubamapal, he further said it is unbelievable for Baby Sana to commit suicide at such a young age. Failure of the Home Department to give any clue remained a suspicion for the incident. The Emily termed that he will remain firm that Baby Sana has not committed suicide and appealed to the government to announce it officially. <laughs> ไล่ดิบสรรคาสนะสู่ไข่บันบล็อกเก็ตพามเดียร์ประชาชนที่เมนต์ตัวโชว์ลาบรีน่ามาคุยชุมแรงอักษรในตาบีดรับนี่น้
Late Sanji's mother, Taratombi, lamented that justice has been denied even after her son's dad has completed 10 years. She appealed to all to give justice to her son when she is alive. Minister for Health and Family Welfare, L. J. N. Kumar, appealed to all not to spread false propaganda that election while taking up developmental work in the constituency. The minister was speaking at a distribution of tailoring, embroidery machine and GI sheets under MOBC to selected beneficiaries of Kaisamtung Assembly constituency. Tailoring, embroidery machines were distributed to 19 persons and GI sheets to 12 persons. The minister further said proper drainage system will be set to reduce artificial flood in the constituency. Pipelines have been laid out to avail households of safe drinking waters. Roads will be repaired after the monsoon season, the minister aided. Terming false propaganda by some vested interest that K. Samthong constituency still remains backward as unfortunate, he said such situations have risen due to the failure of the past representative to work for the welfare of the people. He called upon people's support in taking up developmental works. He said not only black topping of intervillage road but all roads leading to each locality will be black top under local area developmental fund. Sakar you in a work program the yard is intervillage road adu fault and the adum cut up the yard program the yard we are the adubu are you local level from the game so I know I'm the way 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 I'm it is my earnest request. Eastern Hero na gari anoba 200 cc gi motorcycle the Apple's 200 amade extreme 200 aduga 125 cc gi scooter the Mastro X 125 this hariba gari makhal ahumasi tun gi tang kuntra the launch tau jaragani hariba hero gi gari singa sigi loan facility supizari subna te gi lupale sing tara down payment pibi raga khai amagi manung da hero gi apa magari ama lobi bayagani welcome back CPI Manipur State Council took out on street demanding appropriate measures to be taken up government for dry paddy fields and to announce drought in the state. The rally started from Irabod Bhavan past BT Road but stopped by police near BT Park when they attempted to reach the Chief Minister Bangalore. However, the rallies continued to protest demanding to meet the Chief Minister. Later, a team led by State Secretary of CPI El Sotin Kumar submitted a memorandum to the Chief Minister. Dides Manipur organized sit-in protests at the Manget of SERT, that fell against ROP 2019. Joint Secretary of Dides Employee Association, Salam Bidyananda said, ROP 2019 of Dides lecturers as great pay of Rs 4,400 seniors scaled as 12 years have disheartened Dides lecturers. He appealed to the authority concerned to withdraw the order. Further, agitations will be continued if the demands remain unheard. P by the only Diego in a MSRD in a NCT in a I can instruction period later when I do is that government and Masida I can a negative and someone like Baga Luina and the ROP is that I can a massive big reflection I'm at the lock to pass it I can a diet employee associates and give my kid again I'm gonna condemn to we are gonna hide about ROP 2019 is the lady with structure see some dope with the target the Makata by hesitation my mama is a ton of buggy I go out of my car the laser in the continued drive by Imphal West Police to prevent from untoward in inside Imphal Market, such operations was conducted today at BT Road, Gambir Singh Stretch, Rup Mahal Teng, Temporary Market and Hau Market. The search operation was conducted by CDO Bazaar Unit under the supervision of additional SP. Operations of Imphal West, A. Ganashyam, 15 persons were picked up and handed over to City Police for further verification. A 
A team of Lilong police arrested Muhammad Zuel Hek, 28, son of Muhammad Abdul Salami of Lilong, Haurebi Ubakong Maka Along, with 126, 1,267 SP capsule, 135 cuff syrup, and double barrel gun during a search operation at Lilong, Haurebi Ubakong Maka. SP Bishnupur District Police Hobson Sapam has inaugurated five newly completed projects inside the District Police Headquarter Complex today. Those projects completed and inaugurated include approach road to empty section, dressing room, indoor hall, toilet complex, reserve line, flagpole podium at District Police Headquarter and Recreation Hall District Police Headquarter. SP Hobson Sapam, MPS, additional SP LO Bishnupur, Luikham Lanmiyo, MPS, additional SP Ops, Ketrimayum Manihar, MPS STPO, Mirang Ketrimayum Sivkanta, IPS STPO Bishnupur, T. Lakshmi, MPS DSP CDO1 O. Sukumar, MPS DSP Ops A. K. Santi, MPS and C. O. Moirang, O. C. Nambol, and O. C. Loktak, PS etc. where the men gazed at the inaugural function. Speaking on the occasion, SP Hobson Sapam appreciated the people of the district who have lent invaluable help to the people personnel who were taking a major role in maintaining the law and order. Police personnel should never do anything to lose the people's fate in the police, he said. Teachers and students stetch sit in at Bayrodant Maxwell Hindi Primary School demanding the government to withdraw the order to combine Bayrodant High School located at the same campus. Member of School Development Committee of the Primary School, C.H. Chandramani said, if the primary school is combined with a high school according to order issued by Commissioner of Education on June 12, primary schools will not be able to carry out any further activity as it was done earlier. Besides, no sufficient infrastructure is available for high school standard. They have appealed to the Chief Minister and Education Minister to once again review the order. เด็กเนี่ยเราก็ได้ไปเอามาซึ่งโปรเซสนี้ได้ไฮสคูลจีไฮสคูลเลดี้อะไรกี้เสียใจขอโทษด่าตรงบิสนาทาวเวลไฮ